All right, guys, so today we are going to talk about how you can reframe your thoughts because listen, the coronavirus is everywhere. Am I right? I mean, it's on every news feed. It's on everybody's like memes or TikToks because they're talking about being quarantined due to the corona. I mean, it is literally infiltrating every single conversation. Am I right? Like you get on the phone with somebody and you're talking about like, how are you doing during this time? It's just absolutely crazy. But here's the thing whether it is the coronavirus or whether it is like a small blip in your day, the way that we get through any of these hard times and challenges is with our mindset, y'all. Like literally, if you can learn how to reframe your thinking, you can get through anything. So I want us to talk about that. I'm just going to set you up really quick and we're going to continue the conversation. Okay, here we go. I feel like you're a little too far. Let me bring you in. Okay, good. So here's the thing. When we are facing any challenging times and hardships and setbacks and just like day-to-day -day struggles, we can pick our path. We can choose how we are responding to that. So here's the thing. I didn't realize how powerful our mindset was until I got to a really dark place. And if you don't know my backstory, just really quick, I became a widow at 29 years old. My husband was killed and it was because of that sudden change in my life that I realized that everything that we look at that we think is so perfectly controlled or you have your five to 10 year plan like all mapped out, anything can change in a heartbeat. And I think we've learned that through the coronavirus. So I'm not gonna get into my story, but if you wanna learn more, you can watch my TED talk right here. But my point is that it was through that hardship and through that incredibly challenging time that I realized not only is everything out of my control, but the only thing within my control are my thoughts, the way that I manage my mindset, how I'm thinking and responding to the situation, that's within my control. And so that's what I wanna teach you guys today because I know that everything feels really uncertain and it's hard when everything feels like it can change in the matter of a moment but it can be a lot easier to navigate with intentional effort. And that intentional effort starts in your mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to reframe your thoughts. How can you manage all of those negative thoughts that feel like they're overwhelming and probably stressing you out? What do we do with them? Because honestly, you're not gonna be able to stop them. Negative thoughts always come into our mind. After years of training my brain to think positively, negative thoughts still consume me time to time. But because I have the tools and because I've been practicing, I know how to move through those negative thoughts and not spiral out of control, but instead reframe my thinking so that I'm choosing a more positive and productive response. So what I think would be helpful is if I give you some real life experiences that pertain to what's going on right now because of the COVID-19 crisis, Crisis, but just know that reframing your thoughts is in every part of life. Whether you're stuck in traffic and you're super frustrated because you're going to be late to a meeting, you can reframe your thoughts. If your kid is getting on your last good nerve, you know that last good nerve, then you can stop for a moment, you can take a beat, and you can reframe your thoughts before you fly off the handle screaming at them. There is so much power in choosing your thoughts wisely. Let me say that again. There is so much power when you choose your thoughts wisely. Again, that doesn't mean that we can stop these negative thoughts from coming into our mind. They're going to come. I don't know why we're wired that way, but I do know that you can train your brain to move from those toxic thoughts into a more positive and productive direction. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Let me first give you an example that was personal to me, and I know a lot of people are going through this right now. Losing your job, it just rocks you on so many levels. When I lost my job, I had only been widowed for a year. So when I got this blow, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. I mean, I had already been through so many changes, so many losses, 
This really broke me all the way down. So when they told me I was being let go, I went and got my box of belongings from my office, walked down the stairs, I was crying on my way to the car, but it was when I got in the car and closed the door that I just completely lost it. Now listen, there's no good time to get fired, right? Or to be let go, whatever you wanna say. But at that time, I was already so low that this just made me feel like a complete loser. So let me first say, your feelings of being angry and sad and worried and anxious, those are valid, okay? A lot of times we beat ourselves up for feeling a certain way, like we should just be able to get over it. We should be able to bounce back. Like, no, we're human. We have really complex emotions. So if you're feeling all of that negativity and that stress, that's okay. But here's the thing. You can't stay there. And that was the choice that I had to make. And I'm really happy that that hit me so quickly when I was in the car, because when I was sitting there and I was crying and I was angry and I was frustrated and I was worried and I felt like a complete loser, it only took me a few minutes to realize, wait, hold on a second. I know that I did everything that I was supposed to do. And for whatever reason, they let me go. I can't change that. But what can I do from this point moving forward? See, that's where you start getting into reframing your thinking. And maybe it's because I'm a visual person, but I could literally see in my mind two paths. The path where I was going to be bitter and I was going to be angry and I was going to hold on to all of the toxic and unhealthy emotions that were coming with that. Or I could choose how I was going to respond by finding a different direction. I wanted to be my own boss because of one reason. I wanted to be there for my son first. I wanted the freedom and flexibility to be at every single birthday celebration at school or to be able to pick him up when he called me from the nurse's office or go on a field trip. So I decided at that time that the best route for me was to just give it a shot at being an entrepreneur. And maybe your heart isn't calling you into that space and maybe right now the timing doesn't feel great, but this is what you can do. See this as an opportunity to change directions. See, a lot of people are in a job just because of necessity because you have to have a job but is it a job that makes you feel alive does it give you energy is it capitalizing on all of your strengths and helping you to just grow and level up as a person if your job was draining you more than it was building you up then I think that this is a great opportunity for you to seek a job that's actually going to be aligned with things that you love. Whether it's starting your own business or just looking for a job for a company that's more aligned with who you are and what you have to offer, whatever that looks like, instead of focusing on the closed door and being so offended by something that's already happened and you can't change, reframe that to say, wait a minute, this loss of a job is actually an opportunity to choose a new direction. I can do whatever I want at this point. And now, don't get me wrong, I know that everybody has basic needs that they need to take care of during this time. So keep in mind that there are a lot of companies that are hiring because of the increase in demand for their products or their services. So you can go online and you can look that up. There's a whole list of companies that are currently hiring for a lot of jobs that are in demand. So if you need that as like a bridge, then great, but don't let that be your end goal. I strongly encourage you to use this time to seek out a job or a career or start a business that is going to make you feel alive. So maybe this burden is actually a blessing. It is if you see it that way. If you reframe your thoughts to see that this closed door is actually opening other doors for new opportunities. Now, another negative thought cycle that may be consuming you at this time is worry or anxiety. Things are just so uncertain during this time that that would be understandable. But maybe it's tied to your health because the coronavirus is spreading so quickly, it's very easily transmitted. And so there's a lot of worry and maybe even panic for fear of getting this virus or maybe even someone close to you getting this virus. Now, whether you're worried about getting sick or whether you're worried about something else, staying fixated and dwelling in worry about things that are out of our control can really be draining. So we need to reframe those thoughts. Right now, you're living in this false reality. What if this happens? Okay, who's going to take care of my kids? Who's going to take care of me? How am I going to self-quarantine? Am I going to get everything I need? None of that 
has actually happened. See, that's the detriment with worry. It takes you to a place that isn't even real. So you're spending energy in this time vortex that's not even happening. So what we have to do is we have to release that and we have to then reframe our thought from worry to the things that are actually within our control. Now, again, what's in, in your control? your mindset. But what's really in your control in this kind of situation is taking care of your health, making sure that you are washing your hands, that you're staying home, that you're taking extra vitamins if you want to boost your immune system, that you are not out and socializing with people, but you're respecting what the experts have said about social distancing so that we can make sure we're not spreading this virus. Those things are within your control. And if you reframe your thoughts to focus on them, then that's going to give you more peace and it's also going to make you feel more in control of your health. When you worry so much about getting the coronavirus, then you are not thinking about the things that you should be doing to make sure you stay healthy. You're just worrying and worrying and spiraling and feeling anxious and then you start to feel sick. So if you find yourself obsessively worrying about getting the coronavirus, or if you are obsessively worrying about anything that's out of your control, the way that you can reframe that is by looking at the things that you can control. When you do that, it's going to bring your stress levels down and you're going to be more intentional with your efforts because your thoughts are aligned with those habits. If you can focus on your intentional effort, then that is going to make the worry start to decrease. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about how we can manage and reframe the stress that's in our lives. Because let's be honest, we are all under a lot of stress right now. Whether you are under a lot of stress because you've lost your job and you're trying to figure out your next steps, or maybe you're working from home and it's just a different environment, right? You don't have the peace and quiet of your office because you have kids that are running around or a spouse that you're not used to spending so much time with and now you're just like, forced to spend all of your time together. There's so many different things that are probably adding stress to your plate right now. And let's also just say that everybody is feeling stressed. So let's honor that. Let's validate that you are not the only one who is feeling stressed out by the situation that's happening. But the key here is that we have to make sure that it's not consuming us because if stress consumes us, then like I just mentioned, it can manifest itself in unhealthy ways and start to bring about physical ailments like headaches or shortness of breath or loss of appetite, insomnia. There's so many different things that stress can bring in a physical way. But if we manage it with healthy habits, then we're going to decrease our stress levels and we're really gonna be able to make the most of this time. Particularly, I I want to talk about the stress of working from home and also having your kids at home because school is still going on and we are now responsible for not only our workload, but we're responsible to make sure our kids get through their school workload. So here's a really simple way that you can reframe your thoughts. If you have ever said this to yourself, I am so stressed out. This is so stressful. I cannot get through this right now. Instead of going down that path, which is only going to increase your stress, you have to choose another path. And that's giving yourself a lot of grace. Yes, things are stressful because we have a lot on our plate, because things have changed suddenly, because we are not operating in a way that's normal. Well, instead of being so stressed out and giving life to that word stress, say, I'm just going to focus on this moment. Focusing on the present moment will really help you to decrease your stress of overwhelm. Everything that just so feels so overwhelming is creating this stress. And so if you just say, okay, I know all of this is like throwing me for a loop. I'm trying to keep up with my kids work and my work. I'm feeling like I can't really do it or it's really hard. Okay. Honor that it is. What do you need to focus on in this moment? What do you need to do right now? Do you need to answer an email? Do you need to put the clothes away? Do you need to help your kid with their math homework? Do you need to clean up the bathroom? What do you need to do right now? Because that's all that you can control this very moment. So reframe your thoughts from being so stressed out about everything, shift that to focus on what do I need to do this moment? and just stay in the present moment. Guys, being present is a really powerful habit 
and it falls under the umbrella of mindfulness. Everything I talk about with mental strength training all falls under that umbrella of mindfulness. Now, the good thing is it does not take a lot of effort for you to be more mindful in your day-to-day -day activities. The first thing is you just have to pay attention to what's going on in your mind. The second thing is you have to choose to reframe those negative thoughts. And the third thing is you need to choose to be present. If you do that, you are going to feel a whole new level of peace. You are going to be able to handle any challenge, any crisis that is at your doorstep. And best of all, you are going to decrease your stress so that you're not worried or anxious or overwhelmed by all of these things that, yeah, they're real and they're going to be there, but they're more than likely out of your control. So you regain your control by bringing yourself present, by choosing to be present, by choosing the thoughts that you are dwelling on. That's where your control is. So just really quick, if you've lost your job, we're going to reframe that thought to think, I'm choosing a new direction. I'm going to see this as an opportunity to choose a new direction. If you're worried about getting sick or worried about anything in general, we're going to reframe that thought to focus on things that are actually within your control. So if you are worried about getting sick, focus on your health. Don't get so worried and bombarded with the what ifs. Bring yourself back to this very moment of what is within your control and then make intentional effort on that path. And then lastly, if you are so stressed out, especially because you're trying to balance everything and it just feels like an impossible task, then focus on this very moment. Reframe your thoughts so that you are right here in this moment and you are consciously choosing your response to whatever needs your attention. Whether it's your kids, whether it's your house, whether it's your spouse, whatever that looks like. Oh, that rhymed. I like that. Whatever that looks like, you choose to be present and reframe your thoughts so you are not letting the stress and overwhelm of everything consume you, but you are choosing to be in this moment and being intentional with this moment. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Reframing your thoughts is just one simple mental strength training exercise. And what that means is you are helping to train your brain to think more positively and to be more productive. So if you do this on a consistent basis, then you're going to find it's a lot easier to move forward from negative thoughts to release all of that toxic thinking. It's just like if you were working out or training for a marathon, you're going to start to do it little by little and you're building up to have that strength and to have that endurance. Same thing when you train your brain. If you do this on a consistent basis, if you look at the negative thoughts, you accept the negative thoughts, but you don't let them dominate your life because you reframe them and you choose a more positive and productive path, that helps your brain to get stronger. And you can do this, guys. It is scientifically proven that we can all rewire our brain. But you just have to have tools like this so that you know that you're actually doing it the right way, that you are establishing some healthy habits. So I hope that you try this. Like today, as soon as you feel stressed, as soon as you feel overwhelmed, as soon as you just feel consumed with worry, whatever that looks like. Choose to reframe that thought to think of something that is going to help you be more productive in this moment. And you may have to do it a few times. That's okay. Like, Don't expect to be an expert at this right away. Worry still comes to me. Negative thinking still comes to me. But the key is I don't stay there as long. And I know how to move myself out of that space so that it's not dominating my life. And that's what I want for you. So practice it every moment you get. The good thing is we're in the midst of an incredibly challenging time and it's hardships and struggles that are really fertile ground for you to be practicing things like this, for you to build up your growth mindset. So use this time wisely. And remember, it's not an instant fix. It's just helping you to move your mind in the right direction. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the stronger your mind will be. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, then please give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because if you want more positive information and tips on how to build a growth mindset, then you definitely want to be notified because I'm dropping information like this every single week. And of course, if you have any questions at all, like you are not going through this alone. We are all experiencing this heaviness and this stress. And I'm here to answer any questions that you may have, whether it has to do with the current season that we're in, or maybe there are other things that you're just stressed about and that feel really overwhelming. Drop those questions or those comments below. And I promise that I will get back to you. All right, guys, stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. And I will see you next week.
Nobody's perfect, I'm gonna let that go. Increase your stress. Your stress? Excuse me. It's a real thing, it happens, guys. A lot of tension right here. Okay, I'm gonna do some extra stretches. If you have not been stretching, like I have not been stretching, can we just make a pact with each other that we are going to stretch more? Because <laughs> we really need to release this tension. We're just stretch for a second right now. Oh. 